Hello folks, Gomcat and I have an interesting little uh, project going on here we thought we would share with you. So we have for you here a Nissan uh, Gen 2 motor and inverter. This particular specimen uh, is from a ENV 200 van. And we are uh, spinning this guy up today from our trusty and super sexy Zombie Verter VCU. Look at all those flashing lights and all those components in there. That means it's sexy. So, uh, in this case, uh, we are running the inverter via CAN from the Zombie Verter. And yes, that is a big break upgrade that you see in the background. That'll be for another video, much less um, sexy. Anyway, we are lucky with this setup uh, to have the original wiring harness. And uh, so we've basically tapped into that harness here. Let me get you folks in here a little bit uh, better than my usual. So what we've got is we've got a ground, a 12 volt ground. We have a 12 volt power is being supplied via this just a four pin relay that's being controlled by the VCU. And that's providing 12 volt power to our loom. So the only things that we're supplying is a ground, 12 volts, can high and can low and that is uh, sufficient to run our uh, Leaf Gen 2 drivetrain here. This is our first time running uh, the Gen 2 system. As you may recall it's the Gen 1 that we have in the Grey Goose. So I might hear you say Hang on a minute, Damien. I don't see no battery here. Don't you need a high voltage battery to run the uh, inverter? And that is true. Absolutely do. Um, unfortunately, I don't actually have a, a, a bench pack anymore. Um, so we had to get creative. So I will invite you up here to the old uh, high voltage junction box. We'll see we have our ISA shunt and these two wires coming into it. And we go do 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 following this cable. Where is this cable going? Where's this cable going? Oh my god, it's going up the tailpipe of the land yacht. And uh, yes folks, that is correct, as some of you may have surmised by now. We are basically jump starting a leaf uh drivetrain, I guess, from the land yacht, um, because it's the quickest way for me to get a uh, high voltage DC coming into the workshop here. So I have a few high voltage tests uh, that I need to run, because we don't just have the motor and inverter here to run, but over here, as you may have spotted, Sorry for the bad lighting. I've got the door down here, try to minimize it. You can't see any of that. Yay. Gotta love my lighting. Let's see if we can close that garage door down on the holes there. I mean, it, I know this looks dodgy, right? I've got a running car outside and I've got a hose coming into the shed and I've just closed the door of the shed. But it's not what you think, honestly. So here we have the, I think what our Nissan friends refer to as the PDM, power distribution module. And inside this guy, we have the DC to DC converter and a 6.6 .6 kilowatt, uh, I think what they call the OBC onboard charger. And again, the eagle-eyed may have spotted the oldie Chedemo port. So, <clears throat> the plan, such that I ever have a plan when I'm doing these things, is uh, we're going to spin up motor and inverter here, um, which is pretty straightforward because it uses the same CAN commands as the Gen 1 system. Then 
on top of this, we're going to place the PDM. And we're going to attempt to bring up the components of the PDM uh, using hopefully our VCU. Uh, so that being the 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger and DC-DC converter. I'm not sure if people have done this. I think there is another uh, commercial VCU out there that does this. So at least we know from that that it can be done. So that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, I got to spin up this guy, sort out the PDM, and then, do 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 do, round we go again. We've got another motor and inverter combo here that we need to test. Again, the eagle-eyed amongst you uh, might recognize this as being a Gen 3 inverter and motor combo. So this is the 110 kilowatt system, uh, courtesy of a, I believe, a 2018 car. So we got to do that. And then I got to muck about with this resolver offset stuff that Dala has recently discovered. So that'll be fun. Uh, I'm going to interrogate this inverter see if we can get the resolver offset out of that and likewise this one here although this is a matched pair so i don't need to worry about it um, in terms of these but it'll be just good to get that information out so enough talk i hear you say let's get a spinning motor stand by first things first we got to which you won't be able to see this because of the sun but we got to put the land yacht into HV on mode. Okay, so the land yachts high voltage systems are now up. We can close our door now that we have started the car. Yes, so we wouldn't want those precious fumes, I mean electrons, to escape. Now, over here, we've got a 12 volt power supply. And that 12 volt power supply is at the minute it's running the VCU flashy flashy and in a minute the VCU will turn on the power to the inverter and it'll be running that but it is also going to be sending 12 volts back up the Chidemo cable to energize the Chidemo contactors um, that will then put about 390 volts on these here that 390 volts will then travel to our trusty uh, 10 kilowatt uh, electric cooker element and it will charge up the bus capacitors in our inverter. So let's proceed. High tech switch. Okay, chunk, tunk, tunk. Up here on the uh, switch podium, <laughs> we have a, another high tech system. I'm gonna turn the ignition on and we're gonna hit the old starter. So that would be a momentary start switch. So the VCU is now punched up. Um, we have high voltage on the inverter. Got myself a BMW throttle pedal, of course, here, because got to stick with the home team. Let's bring you folks in here for a little, uh, a little motor spinny action. Obviously, oh yes, let's put the microphone cable beside the high voltage. What could go wrong there? Uh, only my face get blown off. So let's give her a little squeeze. Ooh. Now, what we have set up in the VCU at the minute is a very slow throttle ramp and a very low maximum RPM because um, if we didn't do that, uh, this would spin up to 11,000 revs and would probably jump off the, the uh, situation here and would give me a bad hair day. So that's forward direction. So if we uh, go back up to the old switch podium. Flick into reverse. Hopefully it'll go in reverse this time. Oh, it does, look at that. Do 
pretty sexy. So, at this point then, we can come along and can turn the ignition switch off, turns the inverter off, we can uh, disconnect our Chidemo low volts, which will kill the high voltage coming in from the land yacht. So, yes, there you have it, folks. How to jumpstart a Nissan Leaf uh, Gen 2 powertrain using a Chidemo cable, BMW E39, and the old Zombie Verter VCU. So folks, there we have Gen 2 Nissan Leaf drive system uh, running on the Zombie Verter VCU. Super exciting, I know, probably got you all sweaty and that kind of thing so anyway in the next episode we will be getting the pdm functional and then hopefully well i might flip that what i might end up doing yes in fact in the next episode we'll do the gen 3 system so we get the gen 3 motor and inverter running then we get the pdm sorted and that's it so what else is there to say only check those links in the description for all the usual suspects like patreon and paypal and jlc pcb and dallas ev repair and whatever else i can think to put in there oh the open inverter forum critical uh so that's it don't forget to dislike do not share unsubscribe from this stupid channel and uh yes until next time happy high voltage jump starting